Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo chats. So today I'm going to talk about how photography has not changed. People act like with the age of digital, with a Sony camera, I can get perfect exposures and perfect focus. I can be a photographer. Everybody's a photographer. With a phone, everything's in focus. Everything is perfect. Everybody's a photographer. No, they're not. Everybody can get a camera that can make a proper exposure and proper focus. But we'll end the sentence right there. See, back in the 70s and 80s and 90s, people could do that too. If they were able to focus the camera, the camera was perfectly capable of getting a perfect exposure. Unfortunately, people didn't bother to take their great Nikon camera to a great island retreat vacation with the great Kodak film or the great Fuji film and then come home and bring it to a great lab. They were busy taking it to the drugstore that was using poor machines and technicians who weren't trained and their pictures were all kind of bad colors and not very good. And it's why many pros use slide film because they knew that the piece of film that's in the camera is the only thing that I have to get back and I want to have complete control over the final look. And I don't want bad laboratories to make my photos look less than they are. And I have an example of a neighbor of mine back in New Jersey who said one of her film roles accidentally got put into the batch of film going to the lab from Princeton University where she worked. And it was the one roll of film that she ever took that was any good. And she's never been able to replicate that. And I said, but what is different about that? She goes, nothing. I go, yeah, it went to the Princeton Pro Lab. When it went to the Princeton Pro Lab, they did a good job with it. That's just printing. That's just quality. I would bet most people who have 1970-era negatives, 1980s, 1990s, they're all great. They're all perfectly printable. They're all full of color and information to make perfect prints. They just never saw them because the ball was dropped when they went to the lab. And nowadays people are able to say, look, I can get perfect exposures and perfect focus. Great. Do you know what to do with them? Do you know how to draw out a emotion from a personality when you're photographing somebody's portrait? Do you know how to compose and do you know how to use com composition to create a feeling? Do you know how light works? Do you understand why we don't photograph stuff? We photograph the light on stuff? Because everybody is not a photographer now. Everybody has a camera that can get proper focus and proper exposure. And then they want to extrapolate that out to saying we're all photographers. We're not. And the fact that you have a nephew who just got a camera for his birthday doesn't make him a photographer. It makes him a person with a camera that can do some adequate work and now he has to learn lighting and use of depth of field, use of composition, all those things. Nothing has changed. And that's the point of this talk. Photography has not changed. Nothing has changed. The artist still needs to create art. And there are way more techniques than just exposure and focus when it comes to using a camera. So when people say, Everybody's photographizing. No, they are not. Everybody just has a camera that can focus and set an exposure properly. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. Thanks to all my supporters. I'll be back next time. We'll talk more photography. As always, here's the good light.